Now we're hoping to find a special person in need of a very special tricycle or trike. A Gloucester family had a friend who was a veteran and was a double leg amputee. Marlon Beam retrofitted parts of the trike but died before he could enjoy it. Beam's family gave it to a Gloucester couple and now they want the trike to bring joy to another owner who needs it. And they reached out to 10 on your side's Andy Fox who's helping them with their search for just the right person, Andy. Tom and Anita, this search is a labor of love. A lot of good things going on here. Legs, we take them for granted. So when Marlon Beam lost his, he wanted to stay active. He bought a special trike, but using it was not meant to be. This is Marlon Beam. He served in the Navy, a veteran. He had diabetes and lost both legs. He bought it and then he altered it because he was a double amputee. He ordered this trike online and did some things to fix it up. You pedal with your hands, but Marlon never had the chance to enjoy it because he died in September. His daughter gave the trike to family friend Melinda Dunlap. But I'd like it to go somewhere where somebody's going to that wasn't able to get out is able to get out and enjoy the outdoors. Marlon even had a mace holder. What's the mace for? Probably for dogs running after you. Think about it. <laughs> you're down low, you're kind of vulnerable. This is the handbrake. Here we go. Not too bad. It actually moves pretty easy. Now it's easier going uphill than it is down. There, so if you make a normal turn, it's not too bad. So yeah, not too bad. You want to try it? I did want to try it. Once you get started pedaling by hand, you know, it is a little different, but you get used to it. Turning is tough down there in the woods. You see, I go into the leaves and the trees because remember, you can't get up to turn it around. Tight turns are tough, but once you get started again, the trike is very maneuverable. I changed the gears, no problem. Dunlap wants to give Marlin's trike to someone who can only pedal with their hands. Someone who will treasure Marlin's pride. I don't want somebody to take it that wants to sell it or do something like that. I'd like somebody to get it that will really take it out and use it. And when they're out there, think about um, what a great guy Marlin was and he would want that. Ms. Dunlap, a great gal too. Melinda Dunlap contacted Ted on your side because she wants to find just the right person, the perfect person to give the trike to for free. Do you know, do you know someone who's deserving of this? Go online to wavy.com and click this story and we will send you where you need to go to give us a comment or a private message for that very special person you think is deserving of Marlin's trike this holiday season. I'm Andy Fox, 10 on your side.